addition of Grignard reagent to carbonyl compounds or MZX is known as Grignard reagent. and it can be prepared by reactions of alkyl halide with magnesium for example if alkyl halide is RCl and then if it is treated with magnesium we will have Grignard reagent or MgCl if I see the structure of RMgCl it will be something like this magnesium is highly electropositive so it will have delta plus charge chlorine will have delta minus charge and R will also have delta minus charge so this is covalent structure of Grignard reagent highly polar for our purpose in organic chemistry writing reaction we treat Grignard reagent completely ionic compound in that case we will have R minus Mg2 plus X minus so we'll treat this is a completely ionic so this is ionic structure of Grignard reagent now if I see the ionic structure Grignard reagent has R minus it can act as a base or it can also act as a nucleophile so when it acts as a nucleophile it will attack on a carbon that has positive charge when it acts as a base it will take hydrogen plus to form alkane so let us say as base so reactions as base in that case R minus will react with H plus that may be coming from dilute acid it will form RH that is alkane this is nothing but acid base reaction this is base this is acid even if I have water as solvent it can also act as a acid in the presence of Grignard reagent now in this case again we will get alkane so generally Grignard reagent are not used in water solvent because in that case we will have acid base reactions Grignard reagents are generally prepared in ether solvent and this is because ether has no acidic hydrogen CH3O CH3 so let us consider a typical ether these hydrogens are not acidic even these hydrogens are not acidic so ether has no acidic hydrogen it also does not have any carbon that is positive discharge so Grignard reagent in this case cannot act as a nucleophile so no nucleophilic attack so there is no nucleophile attack on this ether because it does not have a carbon that has sufficient positive charge now Grignard reagent can act as a base and it can also act as a nucleophile so let us discuss its reaction as a nucleophile so let us say if I have a carbonyl compound oxygen is more electronegative so it has negative charge and carbon has some positive charge this is a polar molecule 
so C double bond O have a dipole moment in this direction oxygen will have a negative charge and carbon will have a positive charge if I have a nucleophile this nucleophile can attack on this carbon and the same time we can open this bond pair so this is a general reaction on carbonyl compound nucleophile can be Grignard reagent also so like R minus can act as a nucleophile reaction involves two steps first step is nucleophilic attack so when Grignard reagents attack on carbonyl compound we will have an addition product so first step is nucleophilic attack by R minus on C double bond O so let us say if I have R minus that is coming from Grignard reagent it can attack on carbonyl carbon Now if you see this carbon is initially sp2 hybridized now it has become sp3 hybridized this step is slower step because in this process we are broken this bond and the nucleophile is attacking so this step is slower step and rate determining a step Now in the second step this intermediate that is formed can react with H plus so we have second step that is intermediate can react with H plus so reaction with dilute acid so we have RO minus CO minus now if it reacts with H plus it will form a bond between oxygen and hydrogen so we will have ROH so this is final addition product So reaction involves two a step. First a step is nucleophilic attack and the next a step is acid base reaction. So we have to treat the product that is formed in the first a step with dilute acid. Now we'll discuss different cases of the same mechanism. Mechanism will remain same. The second a step is a fast a step because this is simply acid base reaction. Now we will see this general mechanism in case of aldehyde. So first we will discuss case of formaldehyde HCHO. Now if I have HCHO and I have a Grignard reagent R minus in the first step this Grignard reagent can attack on this carbonylic carbon to give addition product. In the next step, this side we have hydrogen. In the next step, this minus can be neutralized by reacting with a dilute acid. If I treat with dilute acid, I will have RCO minus and here I have R O minus will become OH now if you see this is a primary alcohol so this carbon is attached to only one carbon so this is a primary alcohol 
वन डिग्री अल्कोहल सो वेन बी रिएक्ट फॉर्मल डी हार्ड विद ग्रिग नॉट रियजेंट वी गेट द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट एज ए वन डिग्री अल्कोहल नाउ लेट एस से द सेकेंड केस दट इज एनी अदर एल डी हार्ड बट नॉट फॉर्मल डी हार्ड In that case, we have let us say first step, Grignard reagent can attack attack on aldehyde that is R double dash C H O. First step, it will give addition product, so we will have R C O minus H R. This is R dash, so this bond goes here. So oxygen will have a negative charge because it has seven electrons now. Now in the next step we can hydrolyze this one. That is R C O minus R dash H. If I treat with dilute acid, so we will have R C O H R dash H. So if you see the final product, this carbon is attached to this side carbon, this side also carbon. So this is a two degree alcohol. So when an aldehyde is treated, but not it is a formal aldehyde, will this give this will give a two degree alcohol. Now third case we have reactions of Grignard reagent with ketone. So I have R minus. This can react with a ketone. So let us say R dash, R double dash. Now this will act as a nucleophile. This opens up. So this will give R C O minus R dash, R double dash. This is the first step that is nucleophilic attack. In the second step, this intermediate form can be treated with dilute acid. Then it will finally give alcohol. Now, if you see this alcohol, this carbon is attached to three-side carbon. So this is a three degree alcohol. Now we can summarize what I what will be the product in different cases. So if I have formal dehyde, and this is treated with Grignard reagent and hydrolyzed, it will give one degree alcohol. If I have aldehyde but not formal dehyde, and when this is treated with RMZX Grignard reagent, and then it is acidified, that is, reaction with dilute acid, this will give two degree alcohol. Now, if I have a ketone, and if it is treated with Grignard reagent. And then acidified, we will have a three degree alcohol. So these reactions are important reaction of Grignard reagent on carbonyl compound. These reactions can be used to prepare alcohol. So in each case, this mechanism is very simple. First step is nucleophilic attack. Initially, we have this carbon is sp2, that is trigonal planar. Finally, we have sp3, that is tetrahedral. And this is addition product because we have added an R, 
on this carbon and hydrogen on oxygen. So this is one two addition product. So we have added one R group on this carbon and H on this oxygen. So this is example of one two addition. So the whole reaction is example of one two addition.